welcome to Texel American University. I'm Farida and I will be taking you to the campus tour today. This is the first time in history that Texela has a live telecast. Today Texela is becoming the preferred destination for our medical education. Welcome to the beautiful view of Texela. I will now take you to the registrar's office. Facebook and um, we're here to meet with our respected registrar, Dr. Dan Regin. Excuse me, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, welcome to Texila. I'm registrar. This is registrar office. This is the place where you will be interacting a lot for your documentation and registration. And this department also fulfill the students need by providing the logistical and administrative support to collect, to issue, to maintain the academic records as well as the other related documents. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Have a great day, guys. Now we're headed on to the next department, which happens to be the finance department. Now, we're not going to enter the finance department. However, they handle all the student fees and transactions. There's also online accounts where the students can stay updated with their transactions from day one until the completed course of time. We are now headed to another department as well, which happens to be the student affairs department. Good morning, everyone. Now we're going to meet with the Dean of Student Affairs, Mrs. Mary. Excuse me, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Student Affairs Department. This department plays a pivotal role in addressing the student's concern. I have a team of student coordinators to support and guide our students. We endeavor to be globally recognized for our commitments to student academic success by providing transformative opportunities, outstanding service, resource and facilities that enhance learning and development with Texela. Our objective is to enrich the students' experience with Texela by addressing varied and evolving needs of the students and stand as a student service hub. We welcome you all to Texela. We are here to support you. Thank you, ma'am, for that very warm welcome. As you can see, the students here has a warm and friendly environment in which they can have all of their concerns resolved. Hey, can I borrow that? Sure. I would just like to look a bit more professional. And now we're heading to the Dean's office, where we'll meet with Dr. Jeffrey Antonio. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Is Doug there? Yes. You mean to say it's live? Yes, it's The whole live. world can see me? Yes, the world can oh, see Oh, wonderful. You. You know, it's about time the world got to know about Tesla American University. By the way, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Antonio, and this is my colleague, Dr. Nagesh Babu. Hi. He's a professor for pharmacology. I'm your dean. I'm also your professor in pathology. So, Tesla University has for you lined up not only a robust and comprehensive curriculum that will ensure you to become a competitive, compassionate, and an excellent doctor who can basically thrive anywhere around the world. This curriculum is actually based on and licensed from an American university, Ponce. And you shall have the benefit of not only having advanced clinical skills, but also a solid foundation to make sure that the patients are managed properly, and not only that, also compassionately because we believe in the complete physician so for you out there interested in medicine remember Texela University Texela University is medicine and medicine is Texela University come on now let's see if you have what it takes thank you sir for that very fantastic message thank you, thank you ma'am you're welcome 
As you can see, the staff and management at Texilla always welcome you very warmly. Now, let's take a look around the campus. We're headed back to the front view of the campus. And here, you can see the very exotic fountain. This way. And then we'll take a walk down the corridor which would lead us to the lounge. Now we have a very beautiful lounge here where students can come and relax. As you can see, there is a very spacious lounge where the students can come and relax when they're on breaks. There's many vending machines with snacks, coffee, and tea as well. We are headed towards the anatomy lab. Guys, hi, we're telecasting live on Hello. Facebook. Hello. You're now witnessing the most crucial and critical part of medical education. That's the anatomy lab. There's always a saying that if you want to be a good doctor, you're supposed to be a good anatomist. So more you spend time in this lab, more close you are to your dream of becoming a good doctor. I can now proudly say that our university, Texila American University, is the only university in the entire Caribbean to have complete plastinated cadavers. You can see these are the plastinated human cadavers which is used for the study purpose in anatomy lab. Thank you, sir, for those very inspiring words. Now we'll have a quick word with one of the students. Hi, how are you feeling yourself in this lab today? It's exciting and it's lovely to spend time in the anatomy lab, especially learning about our own human body and its parts. But these plastic cadavers are the best part. I love my time in the lab. Thank you. You can hear it for yourself. These students always have fun in the lab. Now we're headed on to the biochemistry lab. Here we'll talk with the lab manager. Excuse me, guys. Hi, we're telecasting live on Facebook. Okay, hi. Welcome to Biochemistry Lab. This is our uh, Biochemistry and uh, phys uh, Physical Science Laboratory. Here yeah, we conduct medical biochemistry and chemistry. This lab is one of the best labs in the Texila American University. And one in, in overall Caribbean region, we won't find such a best lab. This lab can accommodate 40 students at a time and this is a centralized uh, AC and it has a centralized gas line where the students can do their work in a safe mode. We follow all the safety rules and regulations here. We have uh, side benches where we can do the research work. We have the instruments such as calorimeter, spectrophotometer, the pH meter. The students right now we can see that they are doing some experiments which are related to the medical science. We teach here biochemistry. This is biochemistry, is medical biochemistry, which is mostly concerned to the human biomolecules which we have to estimate and we have to do the clinical significance of it to the diagnosis of different disorders. So here we teach students mostly how to identify how to identify and how to diagnose and what is the importance of this diagnosis, uh, how it is helping in the clinical significance of this uh, in their medical practice. Thank you, sir, for that very fascinating introduction to the biochemistry lab. Okay. Thank you. This way? Hello. Oh, the lounge happens to be very busy at this time. We're now headed towards the pathology lab. Across from the biochemistry lab, we would have the pathology lab. Here we would have students who would be using our microscopes. And we will be talking with the lab manager. Hi guys, we're telecasting live on Facebook. Oh, it's you again. Hello. You Hi. seem to be all over the place. Oh yes, I am. Hi again everyone. As uh, so you know, I'm not the only I'm not only the acting bean, as I've said, I'm also your pathologist. And this is the pathology lab. 
So what do we do here in the pathology lab? In the first two years of our medical students' education, it's all about the normal. Normal histology, normal anatomy, normal physiology. And when they get to the second year, which is MD3 and MD4, that is when they learn about everything abnormal. That's why some of my students even look abnormal at times. Anyway, so when we talk about abnormality, it is the study of diseases. And it will be their formative baseline information on how to diagnose different diseases of the human body, okay? because there is not one single entity in medicine that involves, that does not involve pathology. There will always be pathology. We have a set, comprehensive set of slides, both digital and both actual slides, which will cover all most parts of the human body and all the diseases it represents. So for example, over here, we have a projecting microscope depicting such a slide. So here in Texel University, we not only cover the basics, we also go into the more advanced form of teaching, as well as providing you with the most comprehensive program that is available here in the Caribbean and at par with the rest of the world. Thank you, sir, for orienti orienting us with the pathology lab. As you can see, the labs are well equipped with their microscopes and slides for the students' learning. Now we're headed on to the microbiology lab. This way. Hi, guys. Hi, we're telecasting live on Facebook. And here we'll now interview the microbiology faculty. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Pendru Pragnath, Associate Professor of Microbiology, and this is the Microbiology Laboratory. So this laboratory caters to the diagnostic services and derives a constant source of research problems faced in the clinical medicine. And all our laboratories have expertise and state-of-the-art infrastructure and automation to function independently and also to carry out the research work. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Pendru, for that very Thank brief you. introduction. So, we have this term, a few classes already, now let's go to the quiet zone, that is the library. Hi, Gitanjali. The library happens to be two floors up. what's happening in the library. Hello. Hi. We're doing a live telecast for Facebook uh, of the Texel American University and I would like you to orient us with what's happening in the library. Hi. Welcome to Texel American University Library. We are in a wide range of physical collections in our library and we are more focusing on electronic and digital resources. Digital resources consist of e-books, e-journals, databases, e-magazines, etc. Databases consists of HINAL database, EBSCO database, and Data Learning Resource Center. EBSCO database consists of 2,700 e-books, and which are also part of the core curriculum, and Dynamic Plus related to clinical correlation relations. And HINAL database consists of 43,000 e-books and 17,000 journals will be available in the search. Thank you, sir, for orienting us with what's happening in our library. Thank you. Now, I would not leave the library unless I know how the students feel about this very lovely atmosphere. <coughs> Hello. 
What are you referring to? Good afternoon. Good afternoon to My you. My name is Nicolai Ricky Serzoli from Brazil. And currently, I'm uh, referring to a book called The Grey's Anatomy. This book is considered by many to be a great source of information since it provides a student a depth of information concerning a basic approach for anatomy as well as doing our clinical studies. Thank you, Nicholas. Get back to reading. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Felida. How are you? Hi, fine. How are you doing today? I'm good, too. And how do you like your very beautiful facility? It's really great and awesome, and uh, we have a lot of hard copies here. But at the same time, we also have soft copies and we used to have even e-logins uh, e so that I can also study in school as well as at home. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jennifer. No problem. The students are very busy with reading. Don't want to disturb any more of them. So we'll move on to the next section of this wonderful campus. Aspiring doctor, don't just watch guys. Come on down to Texilla and register with us. Or you can get us email us online and we will guide you on further processes. So now we're heading down to the classrooms, a place where the theory is being taught. Now these classrooms are not just classrooms. They are very comfortable and spacious with highly technological equipment for bettering our students' learning. I think the experience that I got here was really amazing as uh, I have uh, people from different cultures, different countries, so you know, you learn different, their cultures and all those, you know, the way how to learn and all those things. So it's really good and the facilities that provide the Texilla, it's at its best, you know, what you will get is really good and the faculties, all those staff, whatever you have here. They are really qualified in their own department. So it's really amazing and I recommend this university to my friends to come here and study medicine. Thank you. I can see you're very comfortable here. Now we're heading on down to the skills lab. So we're heading on down to the skills lab where simulations are being done. The skills lab happens to be on the first floor, so it's quite a walk from here, this way. oriented to the classrooms. Hence, students will not have a very hectic walk or get tired on their way to their classrooms as well. So, as we enter into the first floor of the Texas American University, ahead you can see the conference rooms where club meetings and other small meetings are being held. We're not so far away from the skills lab anymore. We're now very, very close to the skills lab. Here we'll talk with the lab manager. Hello. Excuse me. We're doing a live telecast for the Texas American University on Facebook. Hi. Hi, good afternoon, Farida. Good afternoon. Okay. Could you orient us with what is happening in the skills lab? Okay. The innovative facility that we have right now is the first and only one that is present in the Caribbean. It is a comprehensive resource where we can teach our students and they have the hands-on in inserting IV, in 
doing phlebotomy or extracting blood from the veins. We use dummy models before they're going to the hospitals for their clinical rotation. So we also have here our suction machine. They also learn how they're going to put on the O2 or the oxygen and how they're going to do their IV infusion. Thank you, ma'am. Now, today I was supposed to be a part of this class. Yes. However, uh, we were supposed to be learning the critical organ of the body, the heart. To the simulation, we were supposed to try to put on the oxygen as well take the pulse rate and check the blood pressure after nitro and morphine. Overall, we're always excited to get into the skills lab. Texilla rocks. Now let's head on down to another section of the campus. We'll go into the open view. we should have a very good view of the fountain below. From the front half of the campus, this is actually the center of attention. We are now heading on down to the administrative court. now very close to the vice chancellor's office. Maybe I should get a quick word with him. Hi. Hello, excuse me. Hello. We are actually recording live for Facebook of the Texas American University. Can I have a message with the DC? Yes, sure. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Hi, we're recording live okay. for Facebook of the Texel American University. Yeah. Well, may I have a quick message from you? Sure, sure. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Thank you. Um, good afternoon, and uh, this is the panel, the Vice Chancellor. I've been with Texel for more than uh, seven years now. Uh, we started uh, the university way back in 2010. Now, uh, we have grown as one of the largest uh, university in Guyana. Uh, we offer um, 5.5 years program and 4.5 years program. 5.5 uh, years program is for those who come with a CXC or O level qualification. Uh, they do one and a half years of pre medical course and they continue doing their MD program after that. And for those who come with CAPE um, qualification, it's 4.5 years. They do six months of um, pre medical course and then they do four years of MD program. Now, talking about the MD course, it's into two phases. Uh, we have preclinical for two years and clinical for two years. Students study subjects like um, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, and so on and so forth in the first two years. And after that, they undergo a preclinical exit exam and they go into the clinical rotation. The clinical rotations are offered in Guyana, in the US, and in the Philippines. The students interested to go to the Philippines can apply for that, and those who want to go to U.S. can also go to U.S., but there are certain requirements like U.S. and the D-step one to go into the U.S. clinical rotation. After completion of the clinical rotation, they'll have to take the clinical exit exam. Okay. Once they do the clinical exit exam, and they can become uh, graduates of Texas American University. Uh, we have so far graduated three batches, and our students are in India, they will clear the licensing examination and currently they are doing their post surgency in India. There were four students who went to Nigeria, they have also taken the licensing exams, they have cleared the licensing exam and they are doing their post surgency. Well, we can and see that the students here are making mm -hmm. progress. Yes, and three of them are going to uh, US and they are doing their residency now after completing their US and Step 1 and Step 2. We are so proud of uh, Texela. We have got students from all the 35 countries and we welcome students to Texela. Come, stay with us, learn with us, and enjoy their stay here and become a good physician. Thank, Thank you. you, sir, for your very informative message. Thank you so much. We will now, since we have 
visited almost all the management and staff of Texilla. We are now heading down to the very front of the campus. You heard it for yourself. Students are hailing from almost 30 countries coming to Texilla. <laughs> Here we also have easy access where there is a front stairs as well, which leads us directly into the front portion of the campus. This is very useful when taking precautions, safety precautions, as students would be able to better exit the building fast. We are now back on the ground floor. Oops, oh my. We actually forgot to visit the faculty room. Let's head on over there. Here, we can see a unique, diverse, and compassionate community of lecturers who teaches at Texoma. Hello, excuse me. We're telecasting live for Facebook around Texoma American University. Here we have Dr. Stefan, Dr. Kumar, and Dr. Jagan. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Hudson, I teach histology here, nice to see you. Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Kumar, teaching biomedical genetics. Hello, I'm Dr. Jane, and I'm teaching from the Hi, I'm Mary Jane from the College of Nursing. Hey, Dave from the College of Nursing. Oh, well these lecturers, thank you. These lecturers seem pretty busy preparing for their classes. Let's head on outside of the campus. Thank you.